you can look up the statue for reckless. I mean, like he said, it, it may be borderline reckless. If he's crashed out like that, that... Holy statement. So what is the purpose of these autopilot things? Do Dude, these autopilot things, oh my God. I, I'm telling you, I, I've been by people, they've been awake. But their hands aren't on the steering wheel at all. Yeah, and they're doing things. I, I had one lady that she she was like riding and like almost like looking at a book, typing on a computer, I drinking coffee. This video takes place in Wisconsin, USA. The Kenosha County Sheriff received numerous calls from people claiming to have witnessed a man unconscious at the wheels of a black Tesla, driving 82 miles an hour on the freeway. At 8 a.m. on Interstate 94, a sheriff deputy managed to drive alongside the Tesla and saw that the man was fast asleep in the car. The sheriff then attempted to perform a traffic stop, but there was no response for the driver, which is to be expected when the guy was literally asleep. He then pulled closer to the car and the man finally woke up and pulled over. This is when the video starts. Recording. He was totally sleeping. Totally. That's keeping that block. Perfect. How are we doing, sir? The reason I'm stopping you is I followed you for about two miles and you were sleeping. You were totally like this in the car. Why would we drive like that? I, I, was, I was okay. I was, no, you were sleeping. I, I was a little bit tired. No, you were sleeping, sir. I was upside of you. I was yeah. looking at you and you were doing this. Your eyes were closed. So I know, I understand you have autopilot, but if something was to happen, you're not able to make that conscious decision to stop in a hurry. You understand what I'm saying? Can I get a driver's license? Oh, of course. Have you been drinking or anything like that? No, sir. Yeah, okay. I'm just on my way to work. You're on your way to work and you're sleeping? Yeah, I'm, I'm just on my way. I'm not sleeping, but I'm, you know, like I said, I was just tired. Piper. Do you have insurance as well? Uh, I don't have a card. I have a... Okay, you have it on your phone? Yeah. Okay. So you're on your way to work, but you're sleeping. Well, I'm not sleeping, but like I said, I, I'm on my hey, way we to work. Hey, right? we had a person call you in sleeping. Okay. And I saw they you followed sleeping. you from Illinois all the way to Highway 50, and then he got alongside you, and you were knocked out. Man. You were like this, with your head pointed that uh, way. Like I said, I'm, 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 I am tired. I'm on, I'm okay. on my way into work. But. I get the auto option, but you still have to be awake and doing things. You're not able to make oh, yeah. a quick decision yeah. I mean, I, if I don't you have, have the to. Full, full service yet, you know. I, I don't think it's available for everybody. 241 Okay. 235 Sheriff in Illinois 27. No, no medications or anything oh, like that? No, no, no. You mind if I look Very inside nice. the vehicle? Yeah, go ahead. All right, what was that, Sam? Hello, no. 326 of 83. Keep an eye on So this guy does a bunch of distancing behaviors when the cop confronts him about the fact that he was sleeping whilst driving. He looks away and avoids making eye contact with the officer. Now, research suggests that individuals who are being deceptive frequently exhibit distancing behaviors. These behaviors are not definitive indicators of deception on their own, but are heavily associated with discomfort and an increased level of stress. When people feel uncomfortable, anxious, or threatened, they typically avoid eye contact as a way of protecting themselves and trying to signal their discomfort. This is likely why we see this behavior here. He knows that he's in the wrong, but knows he can't simply admit guilt as that would land him in a whole heap of trouble. Hey, hey. it says it's on autopilot. Yeah. Uh, you, you can, you, it wouldn't be turned on. You can't turn it on. It says it's on. You can't turn it on when it's off. Like when you park, it's off. But it says it's, it says it right on the screen, navigation on autopilot. Huh? See the blue? Read the blue. Huh? Okay. Well, there's no way you were driving your car like this. There is no way. I'm just telling you. Yeah, come over here first. There's no way you could be driving your car when I'm upside of you and you're sleeping. So, I'm just telling you, sir. No, I understand. I, or you I, would have been all over the road. 
I haven't dealt much with this, I'll be honest with you, because some of these cars don't do this. Some of them do. So this will be the first time I've ever dealt with this. But there's gotta be some restrictions that say, you don't just put it in autopilot and then go to sleep. So no, that's one I, thing I'm worried about. I, and again, I, I, that was not the situation. I, 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 How can I'm, you say that when I watched you sleeping? I, you're, just, you're trying to tell me you were awake when I know you weren't. I understand. I, I okay. was tired and I should have probably pulled over. And you I, didn't, I, I, I had my lights was, and sirens going for about 20 seconds and you didn't pull over. Then I got behind mm -hmm. you, told yeah. dispatch, you're not acting. You're doing nothing to my lights. Okay. You're still sleeping. Okay. Finally, you woke up and then come over to the side of the road. But I've got a time delay. It's recorded. Cameras, everything recorded. And you weren't doing anything. And I was following you with my lights going. Sure, so and I, sirens, which means you were sleeping. It's okay. Just be honest. I, I I, and that's not the situation. But What's okay. the situation then? I want to hear what you say it is. Sure. I, I, I was tired. I apologize. I, so you're I, telling I, me you were not sleeping? I, I, I was tired I'm, That's not not the, I'm not tired you know, were I, you I, sleeping in this car i was not sleeping no. okay well you're gonna get a ticket now because you were sleeping no, I, I, i'm not okay. gonna argue with you no, no, I don't argue. okay no problem i'm hey. gonna look up what the statue is i'm not real hey, familiar you're kind of in the driving yeah. type, type id on tracks and you're done okay it's all on my camera too and i had the lights going behind him for a while after i was inside of him if he wasn't sleeping he would have saw me so I all right off. i use my body cam to capture that it is on autopilot okay so. all right so, yeah give me one second the vehicle can't be on autopilot when it's parked no no it, it just shows that it's on autopilot it, it, yeah sure sure yeah but but it, it cannot be on autopilot it, it, it could only be on autopilot if another person is actually holding the steering wheel okay yeah so i mean that's that's like you know yeah it's that's just crazy man it's scary to think like he, yeah, like he got said, alongside you, man. We, that's why no, all three of us came. And, and, uh, if, if someone's not holding the steering wheel for 30 seconds, yeah. it will automatically turn off autopilot for the rest of the commute. You know how long he's been trying to pull you over for? No, I, I don't It was a while. Okay. It was a while. Yeah, at least from the state line, because I saw you pull in and then I took off to go with you. Well, no, I think Dave got behind him at either 50 or 158. Yeah, so this guy actually does surprisingly very little body language here. He gestures with his hands, but that doesn't really signify much as that is normal behavior when speaking. He is very likely in the freeze response here, triggered by the stress caused by the cops questioning him. Polyvagal theory proposed by Dr. Stephen Porges states that the freeze response is a survival strategy that activates the presympathetic nervous system, which immobilizes our body and forces us to remain still. This is because movement is the single biggest giveaway of location and when our defense mechanism is activated, the brain believes that it's in an immediate physical danger. It makes us freeze so we can assess the situation without giving away our location. The brain then decides if it should go into either the fight or flight response. Now, this would explain why he doesn't give off any meaningful body language here, as his body is totally frozen. You can look up the statue for reckless. I mean... It like he said, it, it may be borderline reckless. If he's crashed out like that, that... Totally sleeping. So what is the purpose of these autopilot things? Dude, think? these autopilot things, oh my God. I, I'm telling you, I, I've been by people, they've been awake, but their hands aren't on the steering wheel at all. Yeah, and they're doing things. I, I had one lady that she, she was like writing and like almost like looking at a book, typing on a computer, I drinking coffee. This, I had the Tesla, I had a 13 Tesla. It didn't do that though. Yeah. I would think that they would have some type of safety that says every minute you have to do something to the wheel so you're awake. Not he said you you have to have your hands on the wheel. Oh, it was like this. And I was trying to get attention. He's looking he's that way. He's just like a loose and he's cannon sleeping. going down the road. And I'm doing the uh, uh, you know, and I got my light siren going. And then I pull behind him and he's still nothing, but it's perfectly straight because it's keeping him there. Yeah. But I'm going, uh, uh, and then finally he woke up and saw me and jerked it to the right. Like, what's over the car? So, yeah, that's scary, a, man. Right? Yeah, in a ten of a reckless. I mean, you'd have to look to see what the reckless statute says. I think he has to be doing something that would, that would promote reckless with other cars by him. Yeah. I mean, there was cars by him, but there was no... You act. definitely have in a ten of, man. Yeah. He's out cold. Out. He's, he's saying he wasn't. Yeah. It's so... I, I, I'm not going to argue with you. You don't have to argue with him. Yeah, it's a sir, you are not awake. He would have told me, yeah, I fell asleep. Then that'd be different. Not that I still wouldn't issue a ticket, but I just hate when somebody doesn't want to tell the truth. You may have been out so hard you didn't even know, man. You know, like sometimes when you when you're like sound asleep and 
somebody wakes up and you're like, hey, man, you're sleeping. No, like, wasn't what? it? Yeah, yeah. But how long? Is that <laughs> right. Hang on, hang on. Oh. All right, can I have you step out so I can talk to you out here? I just like to be out here. I'll have you come over here behind my car. Right here is good. So I have a question. Do you have any medical conditions? Do you suffer from narcolepsy or anything like that that makes you just fall asleep? No, sir. You have nothing like that? No, no. no. Okay. I, I'm, yeah, I, I'm just on my way to work. I, I saw another officer. I, I'm a FedEx driver. That's all. Like I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just on my way to work. I work seven days a week. I just, I, mean, I thought I was tired. I might have been a little bit tired. And, and I'm really, honestly, just not trying to lose my job. And, and that, that's okay. Really well. Fun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be issuing a citation for inattentive driving. That means you didn't have your eyes on the road while you were driving the car on the road. Okay? okay. Second thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to end up towing your car. Listen, before you say anything. Oh, my goodness. You have had two priors last year for the same thing. People, people called you in August and February of 2020 where they observed you on the interstate sleeping. So that's, there's, that's in our county. We don't even know about mm -hmm. Illinois or Racine County or anything. That's two priors in our county. This is your third time of okay. people calling you and sleeping in this black uh, yep. uh, Tesla. Tesla. So I'm gonna tow the car. You can pick it up later or with somebody that's not what I believe to be sleeping, tired, unable to drive their car. Okay. Um, or you can, um, I, the best thing is I can take you somewhere, either the gas station or wherever, and then you can, I'll give you the, the tow information who's got the vehicle. It's gonna be Jensen's. I don't think you're safe to drive right now. If you were to take off and get in an accident, it would be me, and I don't want to be responsible. I, honestly, I'll, I, I, I'm, 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 Here's I'm, your citation for, for today's just, incident. The other thing, he's going to do a driver condition report yep. that's going to go to the uh, state DOT just to have you checked out because yep. we can't have you sleeping behind the wheel, man. Yep, I'm doing a full report where they're going to bring you in and talk to you and figure out, do an investigation. It's called the driver condition report. Okay. Because of what's going on, i got to make sure everybody's safe. And to me, that's not being safe, sir. Okay? So I'm going to have you sit in my car until, and I can either give you a ride to a gas station, but you, you can't take the car. I, I can't go, go to work today, then? You can probably you go, go to, to work. You go to work, you just got to find a ride. We're yep. not going to let you drive. I mean, it's all the way in Cudahy. I, I don't know how I can make it from... from well, I would get on your phone. I can take you to either a gas station, a truck stop over here, where somebody can come pick you up, let them know you're going to be a little bit late. But I, right now, you can't I, take your car. I, 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 well, you, you drive for work, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a full-time driver. Yeah, I drive all day long. Jeez. So that's that's it's not an issue. Like, I, I mean, I, I drive all day. I drive seven days a week. You know, like so. It's yeah. like. Okay, this is what I do. So this guy instantly distances when he finds out that his car is going to be towed. Again, research shows a strong link between distancing behaviors and emotional stress. And evolutionary psychologists would argue that this evolved into us to assist in social interactions. It helps us function as a social animal if we are able to convey our stress to others via body language. As spoken language is an incredibly recent invention when considering how how long humans have actually spent evolving. Scientists speculate that the first spoken language occurred only 70,000 years ago, which is an absolute pittance amount of time when you realize the fact that humans have been evolving for 800 million years to 3 billion years. This guy literally drives for his work and he's been called in before for doing the exact same thing. I get that technology is advanced and that Teslas are the safest cars ever built, however the Tesla autopilot is not foolproof and he's actively risking the life of himself and others in doing this. Multiple recent collisions have been linked to Tesla's autopilot. In Washington state, a Tesla on autopilot crashed into a state trooper's vehicle, resulting in no injuries. However, that must have been a very awkward situation for the driver to explain. In California, a man unfortunately died when his Tesla collided with a stationary tractor trailer. After only moments before, sharing video Videos on social media of himself using the autopilot feature. In Texas, a Tesla crashed into a tree causing the deaths of the two occupants. They were using autopilot. Now it's only semi-autonomous and the drivers are responsible for maintaining control of their vehicle, with them having to be actively holding the wheel for the autopilot to remain active. However, this doesn't stop people from falling asleep with their hands on the wheel. 
It's going to be super interesting to see where this technology goes in the future and how law enforcement changes to adapt to this new form of technology. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.